Hi, I'm Cynthia Schiller. Please like and subscribe. So I had this comment uh, from one of the viewers, kind of like a topic request in a sense. And they had mentioned that they get the black eyes. Uh, sometimes we see that during that narcissistic rage. Uh, a lot of people feel that it's demonic looking. Um, and I just kind of want to address some of the things that they said. Um, they're saying that they don't really know how to explain it. They're not narcissistic or schizophrenic, anything like that. Um, and this person feels that they're totally uh that that the mental illnesses are totally different um and any of those types of diagno diagnosis diagnoses they don't think that they have but this person does deal with depression and, and anxiety and this is kind of where it comes in when we feel strong emotions it releases different hormones our iris the color part of our eye is also a muscle um, it can change uh, a lot of times it is for light regulation to allow extra light in in darkened areas but it is also affected by adrenaline and when we have the strong emotions it does affect our pupil size, because as our irises um, expand out to allow the extra light, uh, sometimes it's triggered by emotions. So this person going through depression uh, can cause that. Now there is something with bipolar um, that this viewer might want to look a little more into. Sometimes it's hard to diagnose uh, mental illness, um, or they may not have it, but our body goes through different changes. So when uh, people with bipolar have a euphoric uh, mania, that's usually euphoric, like the good feeling. They don't really happen to have the uh large pupils but when they're in the dysphoric mania that's more the depressed um that's when they seem to have the the black eyes the large pupils the small iris um and this person mentioned that the eyes are black and just dead looking uh it's not me that that person is seeing in the in the uh mirror uh they've documented it for themselves through pictures and uh, some of these black eyes can last anywhere from hours to days. Now, the episodes with bipolar can last a long time. Depression can last a long time. So uh, this person feels disassociated, really feels like a, a dream state, and um, that there's definitely something going on with the brain or the chemicals in their body. Um, this person has been tested. Um, we have to remember, too, during um, different episodes, uh, it's, it's going to affect uh, what's going on, the, the amount of um, adrenaline that you're releasing, what your eyes look like. So even when you're showing pictures to the doctors, they um, might test for it, but they don't see it. It's, it's like going in for a rash, the rash clears up, and, and you're looking at a picture. Sometimes you can't quite see exactly what's going on um, because there is some distortion in uh, pictures as well so uh, this person just feels like nobody's really taking them seriously they may want to do some um uh psychological testing uh they have full scale ones um and just be sure when you're doing that that you're 100 percent honest um because sometimes uh, we tend to, uh, and it's affected by our moods too. You know, uh, if there's a question on that test, do you see yourself as a depressed person? Well, the last week I've had a great week. So I might say, no, I'm not a depressed person, but if I'm in a bad state, I might answer it different. That's why uh, it's so hard to hone in on, on certain diagnoses. But this person does, deal with depression and anxiety. I see that there is a link between the dysphoric mania, not necessarily saying this person has bipolar, but there's something with the depressive state that is altering the amount of adrenaline. Uh, your body might be in a fight or flight type mode at that time uh, where, where you're struggling um, to uh, like uh, maybe even kickstart uh, your mood back up um that's just a, a hypothesis that maybe that's what's going on so the dead looking that they're saying um a lot of our emotions are, are shown through our eyes sometimes you know when you're in love you can just see the little twinkle uh there was uh, i hope i didn't clear it out um 
Okay, so the, there are different types of uh, eyes when it comes to this. Is, this is a one research that I found. How to recognize mania in eyes, sparkling eyes in euphoric mania. And this kind of has a shimmering quality to the liquid in the eyes. And this is really interesting how our emotions or even if there is a mental illness, um, it, it does change. Uh, sometimes it is our hormones, like you, you talk about the uh, pregnant glow. Um, it does change. This person uh, with euphoric mania, um, they uh, have like uh, brilliant colored eyes. I know what's interesting with me, uh, when I cry a lot, my eyes are gorgeous. I have the most beautiful blue eyes. Uh, some of it might be because of the reddening in my eyes when I cry. Um, sometimes uh, when I'm a little sadder, my iris, the colored part will turn a little grayer. Uh, so our moods really do affect things. So even during the euphoric, the good, happy mania, uh, as far as they're, they're very active during this time, they, they are very busy, don't sleep as much. But um, a lot of our emotions can be seen through our eyes. So you're depressed. Um, you're seeing like, like the, the lowering of your drive, I guess, through your eyes. So part of that is uh, the sparkling is because of the change in the liquid coating of the eyes. So, it, um, you know, uh, darker eyes in dysphoric mania. So um, there was one person uh, who started asking clients to notice eye changes in a loved one. And this, this uh, person heard many stories of how this dysphoric mania turned the eyes black. And eye doctor even explained that they weren't surprised by that. It's documented that adrenaline can make the pupil take over the eye. Mania sounds like it's something to do with adrenaline. So that's kind of like with the, the depression um, could have something to do with the adrenaline. And that's what creates the all black eye. Uh, the person did not see it in the euphoric state. And it is just a change in our shape and um, the shape change. Eyes often widen uh, kind of as if they're surprised during that euphoric mania. And um, this is uh, just trying to show uh, the viewer that um, our moods, our hormones, um, our, our brain surges uh, with adrenaline um, can last uh, for months sometimes. Uh, and this person uh, in this article, not the viewer, but the article said that their own dysphoric mania makes me as mean as a snake and as suspicion, suspicious as a jealous husband. Um, so sometimes, you know, uh, there might not be the mental illness as far as bipolar with it. Um, and that's the thing, if it, uh, cluster B things often go misdiagnosed or undiagnosed, they cross over, you don't meet exactly all the criteria, um, like five out of nine, um, you, you might have four out of nine. So you might not have uh, certain aspects, whether it's aggression, or you might have empathy, or you might have certain parts. So it's not diagnosed as that, but you probably still have some uh, effect on your um, adrenaline that's going on. And this person's entire face brightens during that euphoric mania. And uh, they, they can sense their eyes opening wider. And uh, you know, they had it documented just like the viewer in, in pictures. Um, our bodies are constantly changing. We're affected by our foods, by our moods, by our environment, um, uh, how much sleep we get. Uh, and uh, I'd like to end with um, what I can see going on is that it is due to the depressive state uh, it makes sense that it can last a while because our, our mood lasts a while. We're in that depressed state for a while. Um, and if the viewer could give me a little more information on, um, you know, uh, what other feelings are they, are they going through at that time? Um, a little bit more about what their personality is, what they feel, a little bit about maybe their childhood, uh, because... Our, our triggers 
um, you know, uh, just like our de depressed state when we break up with our narcissist or have a death of a loved one, um, you're in an affected time in your life where you're seeing your eyes change. Um, they might want to delve a little deeper if there is some mental illness. Um, how consistent is it? How often does it happen? And uh, as far as just going to a therapist, they might want to go to somebody who specializes in something a little deeper to see. Because uh, I know a lot of people who go in for help with a narcissistic partner, uh, if the person hasn't gone through it, they don't exactly understand it. So maybe uh, find a a therapist who can um, delve deeper to make sure it isn't a bipolar that uh, does a viewer go through elation and depression? Um, are they even keel and depressed with, or are they depressed most of the time? Um, the things that we've gone through are due to some type of abuse usually, or some type of loss. Uh, so you can be depressed, um, sometimes not because of abuse, sometimes it's because of a loss or a traumatic event. That's where the PTSD comes in. Um, if you saw a horrible one-time event or your family was murdered or uh, CPTSD, complex post-traumatic stress disorder, is when it's been over a period of time. So I hope that answers some of the questions for the viewer and you as well, if you have any. Uh, topic requests are always welcome, but it, it it's due to, I see a correlation between, and as that doctor did too, a correlation between depression and dysphoric uh, mania. So those are both depressive states and our bodies are doing something that depresses us. Um, our minds are processing what we're going through into a depressed state, which is gonna affect our eyes. Um, you might be more vigilant or hypersensitive to your depression you might have a deeper depression um so i i, I believe you uh, that you've been able to document it and you see a change and uh you feel a, a disassociation um which might be a little bit of a warning sign that there's more going on than just depression um because when we feel disassociated um it, it, it's usually an escape mechanism to where uh, that's what happens a lot of times in these mental illnesses. It's, it, it's escape. You know, our body goes into uh, that disassociation. So big hugs to you. Uh, please uh, interact with me. Uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions, and I will see you in the next video. Hope it was helpful. Have a good day.